Cody Lopez, lab manager at the Center for Water Supply Studies. What's good, Cody? I don't know. Yeah, that's what I thought. Parking lot's pretty empty for a Wednesday. Here's our main dog, Cody Lopez. What are we doing, Cody? Preparing a sample of two wells at the university. Right well, and where are we? We're in front of the Performing Arts Center. All right, we'll check y'all in a minute. We got all our stuff on a big cart. We got our ice chest for all our samples because they got to stay cold. We got our water jugs, our little beeper line, our batteries for running the pumps. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good time. All right, here Cody walking up all the equipment up here in the PAC. We got these two wells up here that were dug some years back to measure the groundwater right here adjacent to University Beach. And the water table's about, what, 12 feet down? Yeah. So we're about 16 feet above sea level right here. If you dig down about 12 feet, you hit the water. And that's what we're gonna test. We'll check in with y'all soon. Here's all of our equipment. Right out here, in this grass is where our two wells are. So these are groundwater wells drilled for us about three years ago. Maybe four. Here they are, right here on the ground, hidden away from view. This one closest to the Performing Arts Center, just over there. This is our shallow well. This one's slightly further away, that's our deep well. That one's a little bit closer to the shoreline. These are our wells here on campus, owned by the Center for Water Supply Studies. This little device is called an E-Line. It has a little detector on the end of it that measures when it hits the water table and it gives off a little beep noise when it hits it. So this tells us really accurately how far down it is to the water table. Okay, we're gonna stick this E-Line down this hole and see when we hit the water. Oh, there it is. You hear that? So, let's call it right there. So, there's little numbers on this tape. We just measured the depths in these two wells. So the shallow one and the deep one over there. Cody, can you tell us how down with how far down to the water was it in the shallow well? For our shallow well, it's 12.99 feet down from the top of the casing. 12.99 feet from the top of the casing. That's, that white part. That's the top of that little white part there. And how deep was the uh, deep well? 13.9 feet. 13.9 feet to the deep well. So that means that the water table is a foot lower in that well and it's this close that seems kind of strange but we'll go into more detail about that later what's that bad boy there cody this is our well water pump so this device we can lower down to the bottom of the well and it will pump water into this and up at the top so we yeah. can purge our wells so that's for getting water out of the well because otherwise it's a lot of scooping and trying to suck it out with a hose which is no fun so we're using the big guns here okay hey guys now we're gonna do what we call purging the well so we have to get the resident water that's in the well right now is not really representative of the groundwater around it so we're gonna pump a couple of well volumes out of this thing and then test the water once we've purged it once we've cleaned it out and we've gotten some of the local groundwater to refill it so I'm gonna dump this guy down in there which has got a little power cord and a tube and a string to pull it up. And that's gonna get all the water out of this well really, really quickly. So we'll drop it all the way down. There she goes. She hit the water table, I can hear it gurgling. Okay, so it's in there like that. Now we're gonna take our, our power clip here and hook it up and off it should go. 
in a second we should see water coming out of this. Let's see here. So this is the pre, the first water to come out is not, we don't want any of this water because it's been sitting in that well for a month and it doesn't really tell us a lot. We want the water that's all around the well. Oh look, look at the color of that. Looks kind of brown. All right, we'll catch him with you once we purge this. So I'm rinsing out this container so that I can get a sample of this water that's been sitting in the well. We just want to know what the water parameters, things like the salinity, the temperature, are like for this water that's sitting in the well. And then we're going to compare it to what we get after we've purged it a couple well volumes. Oh, sort of a compare and contrast sort of thing, huh? Exactly. All right, there's some of that fresh, fresh, good water. What are we doing now, Cody? So this is our water probe. It's called a YSI, which stands for Yellow Springs Instruments. I'm putting a proper little cover on it to protect my probes, and I'm gonna submerge it in that water I got from the well. So this tells us all the different parameters. Temperature, the salinity, the pH, the salinity is the conductivity, actually, specific conductance. Yeah. Wonder if they get uh, the dissolved that. oxygen. I'll give you all a shot of this once we get a stabilized reading, but that's what we're reading off this probe here. And this is what tells us how much of that water has come out and how much it's been purged. We need it to stabilize. All right, we'll catch in with you all once we get this well all purged and stabilized, huh? What a fine day we have. Okay, we got the pre-purge YSI readings. What was the salinity on that, Cody? Only at about 5.99. 5.99 is the yeah. salinity reading, which is... Almost fresh. Almost a fresh water. You might be able to drink it, but you'll watch. As we purge more of this out, you'll start to get more of the water that's around the pipe and it's not fresh. Because we're so close to the ocean here. We're only about 100 meters from the ocean right now. Yeah. Uh, the, the bay water has got a salinity of like 30 PSU or greater, somewhere between 30 and 35. In these wells right now, this well came out with a salinity of 5.99 PSU, which is on the border of being fresh water. So we got something going on. More than likely what that first bit of water we came, we pulled out was a little lens, a little thin layer of fresh water from the last few rain events we've had. But that's not representative of the local groundwater. That's just a little layer, a little cap that goes on top because it's lighter, it's less dense than the salt water around it. And we're gonna purge that out of the well. And the next time we do this, you'll watch and see, we'll see the salinity shoot up. What's up guys? So sometimes there's a little bit of downtime when you're well sampling. You're waiting for water to refill into the wells and you know we got 20 minutes so i'm gonna fly this kite here that's what i'm talking about get a little kite flying in there we go almost straight to the bottom there dang It's been about 20 minutes since we purged both of the wells. Now Cody's going to go in and get the water depth again, right? And that'll tell us how much water we have in the well remaining to purge for this second purge. There she is. The beep lets us know how deep it is. Yeah. 26.76. 26.76? That's pretty deep. When we started it was 13.9. So we're another 13 feet down. This is our purge water coming out of the deep well. It's nice and gray, full of sediment. Yeah, why is it so off-colored, Cody? So at the bottom of our well, fine sediment collects, and when we, the water flows back in, recharging it, it pushes that sediment around, and when we pump our water out, we get a lot of that sediment picked up with it. Right. It's so nice at the milky. bottom of these wells, there's a little screen that lets the water in, but it's not supposed to let the sand or the sediment around it in, but some of those fine particles 
always make it in. Hey Cody, yeah. how salty is this water? Pretty darn salty. It's hyper saline. Saltier even than the seawater out there. And this is the one coming out of which well? That's our deep well water right there. So our deep well water is really, really salty. Like 50% saltier than the bay. And then our shallow well is what? How salty is our shallow well? What, like 13 normally? 13 PSU. So it's about half as salty as the bay. So do you have any ideas why the shallow well would be half as salty as the bay and the deep well would be twice as salty as the bay? So our uh, shallow well is going to get a lot of rainwater in it. We're pretty sure it's an unconfined well, so there's nothing between the water in that well to stop rainwater from falling down and percolating down to it. Got it. So it's more surface water. Yeah. And then the deep well is an exposed to a bunch of different older sediments, older units of yeah, we clay and salt beds and sand. And the water's going to have to travel further because we're fairly certain that's a confined aquifer. So wherever it recharges is actually probably very far from here. Maybe the other side of the island, possibly the other side of the bay. Or way out in the middle of the bay. Yeah, way out in the middle of the bay. So the deep well is a confined aquifer. So the water has to travel through the subsurface before it can make it to this well. So it's been in contact with the sediments for longer, so therefore it's a lot saltier, right? Yep. Yes, sir. Picking up a lot of salt on its path. Got it. Man, we're learning something out here, huh? All right, folks. It's been a lot of fun. Cody, did you have a good time? I had a pretty good time. Cody had a pretty good time. Me too. All right. We'll see y'all when we see ya.